I'm here on behalf of the, the mayor, and I'd just like to thank um, Amory Hayes for the wonderful initiative that you've got here. Uh, welcome to all, and it, this is a vital conversation. And um, although John mentioned in the past, we all have a personal connection with, uh, with driving if we have kids. And as a father of four, um, one of the most nervous things uh, that I had to deal with uh, in, in their growing up uh, was when they started taking their driver's lessons and learned how to drive and did their tests and then asked to borrow the car. Um, it always it came as a stressful situation, not so much from what my kids would do on the road, but worried about some of the other craziness uh, that was going on. Now, before the pandemic came, um, counselors' offices, the number one issue that came to counselors' offices, at least the ones I speak to, um, was traffic safety, traffic congestion, and traffic volume. So people speeding through neighborhoods, people driving recklessly, uh, not obeying the rules of the road, running stop signs, running red lights, and speeding. And the city has seen a spike in street racing and stunt driving on our public roads because our public roads are primarily quiet these days as many people stay home and do not commute take their normal commuting pattern uh, into work, nor are they going out to stores. Although as we open up, I imagine that uh, congestion uh, will, will increase. When it comes to racing and, and stunt driving, the, the tragedy of it is not only the people behind the wheel who are being irresponsible, lawless and reckless, but it often um, kills or injures innocent bystanders who have nothing to do uh, with the with the bad choices made behind the wheel, and that is that is a tragedy on top of a tragedy. So the city of Toronto um, is is fairly aggressive when it comes to this problem of traffic safety, traffic congestion, and making sure that everybody uh, obeys the rule of the road and respects one another. And our our core program is Vision Zero, which is our objective to reduce to zero the number of uh, serious injuries and fatalities on our roads. So it, it, it's a, a fairly broad program. Uh, it's, uh, we spend uh, probably about $25 million a year on this program, which, Im which involves pedestrian safety corridors, senior safety zones, community safety zones, the lowering of speed limits, and the re-engineering of, um, of various intersections. We work with uh, Toronto Police, uh, uh, to make sure that uh, there's education and enforcement. And of course, we work with uh, various communities to take in uh, their concerns about speeding in their neighborhoods and making sure that we, uh, we respond. Technologies include automatic speed enforcement uh, with the blessing of the provincial government, uh, commonly known as photo radar. And of course, watch your speed technology, which studies indicate that when people see uh, the signage and the speed limit they're going, uh, they tend to slow down. Uh, education is key. Uh, various technologies uh, to, to encourage slower driving, making sure that uh, the criminal justice system and, and the police, uh, uh, police officers are there for enforcement and, of course, um, penalties uh, for abuse, making sure that um, we work with our various stakeholders <laughs> Uh, to to continue to implore on on young people who are the primary uh, people behind the wheel for stunt driving and street racing uh, that in fact the the um, repercussions are extremely serious uh, they could haunt you for the rest of uh, your life and you're putting uh, others in danger so with that um, we continue to to roll out the vision zero program making sure our streets are safe, making sure pedestrians also understand their responsibility, preventative action, and of course, using all the latest technology uh, and tracking systems uh, to make sure that uh, we, we catch early in the process those people who by habit are speeding, running red lights uh, and running stop signs. And usually if you stop them at a minor offense, uh, it's often a deterrent uh, on the speed racing uh, and stunt driving on the public roads. So uh, with that, I just want to once again um, thank 
teens learn to drive. This is a vital conversation uh, that we must have. Um, we need young people behind the wheel who are, who are thoroughly trained, uh, who have to make split second decisions. We want them to make smart choices. And usually education and public knowledge uh, is, is the key, the upfront key. And then of course the city must do its part by continuing to invest heavily in road and pedestrian safety, making sure that we reduce fatalities, making sure we reduce injuries and of course, property damage. So on behalf of Mayor Tory, uh, just once again, thank you for this lovely invitation and, and congratulations on your great work. And we've got to keep this conversation going.